So because I've made videos on Tyler Oliveira, YouTube now thinks I want to see his new videos, so they've been recommending me his new ones for a couple months now. And it wasn't until yesterday that I noticed he's ran out of ideas. He has made so many half-assed videos investigating the most dangerous place, the most toxic place, the most obese place this country has to offer, that you start to realize that he doesn't value quality or quantity. Like I said before, if I was making the money Tyler is making, I would be getting Mr. B beast type numbers with my videos. Don't get me wrong, he does get millions of views, but a majority of them come from the clickbait he uses in every video. People have only gotten dumber, and when you make a thumbnail like this, they are actually going to think a rhino is charging you, or that you actually went to a war zone when you're in fucking downtown Wisconsin. Luckily for rhinos in the environment, this video is sponsored by Clash of Clans. But around a year ago is when he started doing these investigations. And believe it or not, he hasn't even uploaded 50 videos since then. He's at 49. And still, he has been showing signs of burnout for the past couple months. First off, what are you doing making the same video you already made? A month ago, he investigated the US-Mexico border, and then 11 months ago, he investigated the US-Mexico border. And no, the Mexicans didn't get fucking superpowers, he just made the same video twice as long. Another one he likes to milk are the ones where people do drugs. How many times do you guys want to see the same kind of people do the same kind of drugs? He goes to a city with real zombies, one where he goes to a city where every drug is illegal one where he goes to a country where every drug is legal, and then one where they pay you to do drugs, all of which have the same thumbnail with a different background. This is incredibly lazy for a channel of his size. This is almost as bad as David Dobrik's 4 minute and 21 second videos. Shorty over here, Shorty need to do a little better. But what did little Shotty think about being a cop out here? And I'm not just talking shit here, let's play a clip and you tell me which four of these videos it's from. Tell me about it, why would well, you defend well, fentanyl? Yeah. Well because, because I am a former IV user User. And because of fentanyl, I no longer can inject heroin. And so I would rather smoke fentanyl than to inject heroin. Now, if you pick the third one, you're wrong. But that's only because all the options are wrong, because that was from a video where he goes to Skid Row, a personal favorite of mine. But you see what I mean? These videos are indistinguishable unless you have a thumbnail. And even then, when you start watching the video, I bet you couldn't even tell me which one you're watching without going back to look at what the title was. But hey, I'm an official Tyler hater, is what I was put on this website to do. So of course, I'm gonna show you more than just two examples. Here are some honorable mentions. We have two videos about UFOs slash aliens. He has two conspiracy videos, both about planes uploaded consecutively. Two videos about people being obese. Three videos about a city that's quote unquote toxic. Five videos about homeless people. And the rest are in his case unique, but you see what I mean. He'll take one idea and just duplicate it when he hasn't even investigated 50 unique situations yet. God forbid though you call him out for being a shit investigator because then he'll turn his brain dead fan base on you like he isn't the one exploiting people for views. How about instead of giving a random person who reposts your video $500, you give that money to someone who actually needs it, like, I don't know, maybe someone in the poorest region in America? Tyler could have spent the whole video helping out poor people, but instead he's like, can you tell us why this city is so fucking shitty and poor? What is the best part about Weston? Uh... The lunatic asylum? Yeah. But for some reason, the one group of people that Tyler loves to get on camera more than anyone else are violent black people. Let me explain. Out of all of Tyler's investigations, he has posted more videos about a violent city more than any other subject. These videos right here are all about the same thing, three of them uploaded within a month of each other. Now let's play another game. Can you match these titles with these videos? You would think this one is, I investigated the city where you legally must own a gun, right? Wrong, that's a whole nother video. Or like this one, I investigated the city where only criminals live. This one looks good, right? Wrong. That's a whole nother video about the same thing, only he took away the guns. These two are the best examples though because they were uploaded within two weeks of each other and are basically interchangeable. And I already know people are going to focus on me talking about the thumbnails and going to be like, well, all yours are the same too. And it's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm a fucking commentator. My bad I don't. Same expression every thumbnail. Like, here's me, here, literally here's me trying to get the thumbnail picture. But like I've said three times before, if I was making the money Tyler was making, I would not be making these dumbass thumbnails. And no, I don't want to do what he does, so don't be like, well, why don't you go out and do it? How about you just tell Tyler to go and do better?
Did you ever think of that? Or is Tyler's d just in your mouth all the time when you guys are leaving a comment? I know this video was a little shorter, but I just had to get this out there because if he's not even putting out four videos a month and can't come up with anything other than just revisiting a shitty city over and over, then I guess I gotta change my content. Stay tuned for my next video where I investigate the guy who investigates something while he's investigating someone. A lot of layers and I'm on the top. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.